What's up, everybody? It is Pickle from Burkers Studios, and we are back once again in some Wasteland 2. Director's Cut. The better cut. It's like the the prime cut, you know? It's not just the raw, just throw it out there because people like to eat meat. It's, mm -mm. We, we took gentle care in this one. That's where we're at. <laughs> so we just finished helping out Kate Preston, and now... There's going to be, I guess, a vote. Okay, let's hold the vote. All those who want Sean Bergen to be mayor, say aye. Right. Now all those who want Kate Preston to be mayor, say aye. Mm, that was split pretty even. I don't know what to do now. How about we recess for a while and try to vote again a little late? Give the people some time to consider their choices. What do you say, Sean? Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Holler when we're ready to do this again. Okay. Great. Hey, Rangers. Do you have a sec to talk? Okay, I can honestly say that I don't remember if I've ever gotten her mayor or not. I know I have gotten Vulture's cry out before. Hey, I assume you saw our little Democratic logjam just now? Ah, uh, well, since neither Bergen or I got enough votes for a majority, I guess we're just gonna have to keep on voting until one of us breaks 50%. I think you guys might be the ones to push it one way or the other. See, my platform is strongly pro-Ranger. Bergen's is pro-Red Scorpion. So if you guys were to help out around town, I'm pretty sure I can convince people to vote for me. On the other hand, if you guys were to live down to your local reputation, which is not pretty, then Bergen would probably win. I'm not going to call for another vote until I think we can win, but Bergen's going to call foul if I wait too long. So get back to me ASAP once you think people's minds are swaying to our side. Sound good? We'll help. I'm glad to hear it. I knew I could count on you. The other option was, uh, you're on your own. I don't think I can talk with just regular people. Um... Well, that's numb nuts. Alright. Let's go in here. We went in here before, but we didn't actually mess around. Uh, we didn't really talk to anybody in here. Uh, let's talk with Harold. What can I do for you? I've got some eggs that smell weird. Think I can move them if they're pickled? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna trade. Let's sell our junk. Got a lot of junk. All right, so. We're gonna need some ammo. I can't have uh, Homeboy not getting into the fight. It's not gonna do me any good. I'm almost thinking I should get a shotgun. Cause I have shotgun rounds. Crumpled green bag. Mm. All right, thanks. All right, what do you do? With sandy blonde hair and a careworm smile tends to the wounded high pool citizens in a makeshift trauma ward outside his office. Dr. Scott Warner. Well, I got all the townsfolk patched up, but you look a little worse for wear. What can I help you with? Want me to patch you up? We're all right. How can we help? Dr. Warner, uh, looks like you take care of the big stuff already. Took care of the big stuff already. Much obliged. Our water. Is there lifeblood here? 
you can heal us? Sure, if you need it, just say the word. Yes. There you go, right as rain. So I can't do anything else with this dude? Well, shit's in the cough. What's in here? The Legend of the Red Rider. Hmm. Whatever. I thought I could talk to that guy and do some stuff for him. Is there another building? We did that. I'm gonna try something because I'm not 100% certain. Let's save. Thank you, Desert Rangers. I have heard that your tribe brings justice to the wastes. Then bring justice here, and free me from this cage. I would travel with you. They live in the desert, but they are not of the desert. I would trust you to be My our guide. are wise in the ways of the wastes. I am of the head. What kind of cargo there do There are need? many things that we require. Pig-faced little crap. Did I say that out loud? Oh, hell. So, hey, I'm still a 100% red-blooded, all-American, Native American, just like I said. Sorry, I was but skipping through that because it was stuff like that I thought I had already gone woman? over and talked with well, her. Not to be insulting, but you foreigners expect that stuff. I can get double the price for my seeds when I do the whole "let me teach you the old ways" speech. If you're not Indian, then your people weren't born here. And that makes you a four. Adios, gringos. Okay, so... What happens if I open this? The lock mechanism looks sim pretty simple to trip. Alright, I'm only doing this because I want to see if, if this is how we get her out because so far I haven't been able to talk to anybody about her or maybe we have to do the mayor thing first and then talk to the mayor yeah let's try it that well no we're gonna we're gonna see if we can if this if this incites a riot we're reloading let's go come on let's get out of here okay hold on she can do the animal thing, right? So let's see if she can talk to the dog and we can have the dog run with us. Maybe not. Alright, well that was easy. <laughs> okay, what are you good with? Sniper rifles. Um, he's much better, so we're going to have to find something else for you. Um, that just sounded cool. Alright, so, um, how about a nail board? I mean, yay? <laughs> Ooh, uh, you're not good at shotguns though, because shotguns are like an actual thing thing, right? Yep, yeah, damn it. Okay, well at least she's got a weapon, and so far people don't seem to be pissed off that I've let her out, which is weird. I thought for sure they'd be all, oh my god, they did not let her out, erg. Um... I don't know what else to do though. I'm trying very hard not to add any graves to this place. So I 
can't go there yet. So it says the radio is fully functional. So the only other person I think I could do anything with in this effing town is this tar. Breaking a criminal out of jail, Rangers? That's pretty low. Even that vulture's cry, or whatever she calls herself. You got some balls breaking her out of our jail and walking around with her in broad daylight. Unless you got a good explanation why she ain't in our jail awaiting her hanging, you're not welcome here. When it walks like a freak, and talks like a freak, and shows up a day before a raider attack, what do you expect us to do? We know a wrecking crew scout when we see one. Yeah, well, don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. You freed our prisoner? What the hell? See, now he won't talk. Should've tried the explanation button. I had a feeling there might be Okay, so that was him with his house. Townie. Like, there's nothing else to do. Juvie. I don't think I can talk. And I can't talk to them anymore. This guy's just a regular ass townie. I, like, I don't know. I think this is the exact same position I was in last time that I just I didn't feel there was anything else I could do. Hey Rangers. I don't think we've got the people on our side quite yet. I've got to keep track of things, so I'll have to talk to you later. So what am I supposed to <laughs> This is where I got confused last time, because I can't go back underground. There's nothing under there for me to do. I've talked to everyone that has a name. And they're just... Mm. The only thing I think to do is to kill Sean Bergen. But I don't think that will help out Kate Preston. I think one of those teenagers peed in there. So let's just make sure that this is the guy who's thanking us for his house. Yeah. Maybe we gotta go do more stuff. Oh, damn it. <sighs> Forgot we have to actually get on the elevator. I'm used to those games where you just hit it and they automatically go get on there. Yeah, I had a senior moment. Maybe there's more stuff down in the town we gotta go do? <laughs> Somehow missed that. Also makes me curious if you go to Ag Center first and then come back here, is Vulture's Cry still in the in the prison or is she dead? What the hell is that? How did we miss these before? bludgeoned to death. Well, that's pleasant. Let's keep walking. I want to put this place behind me. The 
These tomatoes have been fertilized with biosustainable. What? Slender man with a baseball cap covering his hair and droopy eye stares before you. He smells like a skunk humped his leg. <laughs> Excuse me. Crazy man, some really negative energy going on around here. It's really messing with my chai. Chai? Yeah, man, you know, my energy and life force, my inner balance, man. You should drink a cup of chi tea in the morning to keep it soft and mellow. Wait. Oh, man. <laughs> I got that totally backwards. Chi, man. My chi is all messed up. <laughs> you were all like, whoa, strange compadre. What are you talking about? Right, man? Well, that was all. My tea is all wrong. I drink my life force in the morning. <laughs> oh, man. Doesn't it feel good to laugh? See, man, this place is a desert of happiness. Except for these wrecker dudes. They have some really negative energy going on here, and they're freaking me out with their explosions and stuff. Negative energy? You mean the fighting? It's all wrong, man. Mercury is all retrograde and not totally happy. So, I know communication isn't flowing down the communication stream of Mother Nature's life force, but these guys are really angry. They need, like, a serious hug, man. How's a hug gonna help? Man, we need to come together and love each other. We are one, man. One universe. One soul. I love you, man. I see you, man. I love and appreciate you as a soul of the universe. And I love them, and they need to know that. I don't know if love will make them stop. So much negative energy, man. You need a hug, too. I can feel it. Man. It makes me weep for humanity. I need to get out of here and free myself from this black energy. Can you help me, my dusty compadre? What do you need help with? My soulmate is up there in High Pool. Oh man, High Pool. What a disappointment of nomenclature, right? You know? <laughs> yeah. What was I saying? You were talking about your soulmate. Such a beautiful soul, you know? We are one, man. One. Yeah, totally. So, I need a note taken to him. We need to escape the bonds of this negative energy, like, together. Souls like ours should be spreading love rather than being brought down with this deep shit. You know? We need to get out of here. Need you to tell him up there in the bewitching pool of highness that life is harsh down here, man. Just like it is up there. It's time for us to take a trip and find a better place, you know? Can you do that for me? Yeah, sure. Radical! Here's a note to take to them. Who exactly is them? I told you, man. A soulmate. We are one. We share the same soul. You'll know him when you meet him. You'll feel it within your soul. Names are labels that bind us like a prison. Release yourself, man. And look upon others as beings of light. Not as metaphors of confining definition. Whoa. Confining definition. Confinition. That's deep, man. That's deep. You feel that? Oh, I feel something. Far out, man. Far out. <laughs> May the peace and beauty of the stars guide you, man. Well, then. What the hell? This trailer home has been decorated with dream catches and wind chimes. Smells strongly of patchouli. <laughs> it smells like patchouli, and that offends my nerves. Damn. Those are some big pipes. Thanks, game. Scaring out the birds! The birds, man. The birds. <laughs> it's kind of fun reading as the, uh, just the stoner dude. Okay. Wait, hold on. 
Is her per what's her perception? Three. Isn't that the same as Hex? Two. Okay, so she's gonna be my perceptor. -er. the dowry chick okay so <sighs> I have to think that that's it like there's really nothing else in here Okay, so let's go find this guy's soulmate, and hopefully that's something that we can do to uh, push this over the edge. As like I said, I honestly don't think I've ever finished this part. Because I just didn't know where else to go, or who else to talk to, or convince, or anything else. I just, I have no idea. What if it's this guy? I mean not. Well, there is something else. Okay, hang on. Gotta do this again. Actually, let's uh Okay, we're about to do some uh, Undertaker work. I can't imagine this is going to go over well. Bobby's BB gun. Uh, guy outside, he was like, Jesus Christ, Rangers, that's low, even for you. I swear that there's nothing else to, that you could do, though. Except to, uh, go here. Should have dug up Rex and then Okay. No. Cause I thought maybe you could dig a grave up and get some kind of uh explanation as far as what happened. Um Hey, Rangers. I don't think we've got the people on our side quite yet. I've got to keep track of things, so I'll have to talk to you later.
What the hell? Can you talk to her? For real? I can't talk to that chick. Why can't I talk to her? This is where they arrested me. The owner betrayed me. If she was arrested, do you still have the gear she was carrying? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I do. I was going to add to my stock. Figure it's commission for the trouble she was carrying. The gear does belong to you. Hand it over before we take a cut of your inventory. Alright, alright. No need to get hostile. Your ranges uh, really haven't changed. Here's the gear. What's with that big pump behind us? The story goes the ranges actually fixed it for us a decade and a half ago. I'm not sure about that, but it broke down for a um, good year. It runs, but spews most foul black cloud you've ever smelled. Now I'm stripping it for parts. I already got the engine pulled. That was snake squeezings. Who is this traveling salesman? His name is Sammy Haas from Rail Nomad. Make a regular circuit through the wasteland seeing that sweet, sweet poison. Told me he was with Ace when Ace was murdered. Know anything about the murder? Sammy didn't say much about it. Seems spooked about the whole thing. You want to talk to him? You might find him in Rail Nomad. That's where he goes to resupply. Bye now. Tell your friends. Okay. So there. There. And there. And there. Well, that solves that. I'll uh, still give you that. Love how the pet rock has oogly eyes. Uh, I don't want to flag it as junk. It's already junk. Rogue chance. What? There's what? What the hell is that? Oh, so she has that much of a chance to just kind of flip out. But you can't just tell her, get out of here. Holy shit. She has a much better gun than you do, dude. Um... Okay, so it says it can be fixed with a new engine. Um, okay. 
Okay, so there's the engine. Uh, I have to hotkey. Pickle is using a small engine. Obnoxious as hell. Um, hey Rangers, I've been keeping tabs on what people are saying in town, and I think we're ready to put this to a vote. One way or the other, we'll have a new mayor soon. Hey Rangers, I've been keeping tabs on what people are saying. Okay, let's try this again. All those who want Sean Bergen to be mayor say aye. <laughs> right. Now all those who want Kate Preston to be mayor say aye. Hmm. Seems pretty conclusive to me. Kate Preston is our new mayor. Thank you, everyone. I promise to do my best. Anyone wants to see me, I'll be in the mayor's office. Thanks again. Let's get to work. Hey Rangers, thank you so much for saving our butts. I'm guessing you're going to head out once your business here is done. I think we can make it easier for you to come and go. Some of our folks up in the sewer tunnel by the crane, it'll be a quick trip now that we're not under siege. Alright. Good to see you again, Rangers. Okay, so that solves that. Um, next episode, we will continue on, and I will show you... You freed our prisoner? What the hell? You still gonna bitch about that? Or are you just going to say that every time I pass by you? Uh... Oh! Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so we'll head to Ag Center next. Um, but we're going to stop here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, please hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you are enjoying it. I, uh, I just wanted to say that thanks to the Desert Rangers, it looks like the reservoir will be up and running again sooner rather than later. I believe that its differences with Ranger Citadel in the past. Their actions today not only saved us, but very possibly the lives of many others in the waste who rely on our water. For that reason, I would like to say clearly that from here on, Highpool will always rely on the protection of the Desert Rangers, and will not consider offers of protection from other parties. Thank you. Sam. As I was saying, hope you guys are enjoying. Be sure to hit that like button and let me know that you are enjoying what you're seeing. If you feel like typing with me, there's other kinds of comments, things you want to say, stuff that I've missed, uh, things you're curious about, any of that kind of stuff, toss that in the comments down below. We'll chat back and forth. I really, really do enjoy that. Keeps me going. And until I see you in another episode, because you're already going to subscribe, because why wouldn't you? This is fun stuff, right? Right? Maybe? Just a little bit? Alright, so I see you then, I'm pickling, I'm out.